Okay, this is the old uh, entertainment unit that I took out of the living room. And I've had this over 20 years. You know, it was the in thing at the time when 68 centimeter TVs were the basically the largest TV you could buy that was affordable. And um, yeah, I just haven't parted with it in all that time because I'm not a big TV watcher, but um, you know, there's a few things now that I would like to do on a big screen television, like uh, hook my computer up to it and use a big screen to watch stuff online and um, rather than have a computer desk and small monitor so you know, it was time for a, a change and um, a little bit of a house makeover as well as, as you've seen from the other videos you know we're doing renovations so you know if you move bits and pieces around block in doors open up doors you know you, your furniture configuration is going to change so I thought well what am I going to do with this no one's going to buy it because no one has a 68 centimeter TV anymore and I don't want to burn it <laughs> because I, Paul would gladly take it and, and burn it in his fireplace at home so what I've decided to do is I was going to keep this bottom section this long bottom section and um, and like I mentioned in another video, unscrew the top, chop everything off, sort of at that that second level there, and uh, drop the top straight down onto it, screw it together, and have a low cabinet. But now I've changed my mind. <laughs> so I've looked at the layout of the living room. And I don't really have the room to put a long cabinet like this in there. But what I do have room for is a tall cabinet. So what I'm thinking of doing is, again, take the top off, right? Because we want to keep the top. The top's good. There's no marks on it. It's beautiful. The trim's all good. Um... And I'm gonna I'm gonna dismantle it, basically, almost back to where it would have been when they were assembling it twenty odd years ago. So when I start dismantling it, I'll be able to take this shelf out. I'll be able to take out this side panel here, and I'll be able to take out this support here for the uh, for the door hinge. Then what I'll do is this side here which still has all of our um, shelving pins and everything. I'm simply going to move this into this position here because you get this nice scalloped edge here. So it'll keep with the design of the cabinet. And basically I'll just shorten everything up and I'll just make I'll just make a tall a tall cabinet. Just like that. Be great if I could make two, but I only have one spare side. Um, because even two tall ones, I could fit two tall ones in. I've got enough space sort of in between windows to do it, but I, I just don't have the material to do it. So, um, so one will one will be enough. I'll have a spare door, and then obviously. Um, three spare doors here so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get started on it it wasn't really something I wanted to do I, I've got other things I need to do in the house first but I also don't want this sitting in the house whilst these other things need to be done I sort of need the room and I need to keep the house functional whilst these renovations are going on okay I'm a bit further along got the backboard off got the top off Top was a bit of a challenge. Um, screws came out really easy, but obviously because I couldn't get in here to put screws in, they've glued the center section down. And that was extremely difficult to um, to get off. But with a, a pry bar and a rubber mallet, we, we got there. So we're on our way. 
There's the top there, all in one piece, which I'm really happy about. Okay, I got it pretty much stripped down to a skeleton now. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut through this board here. So I'm going to follow, follow that as my line, obviously. And then I've made a mark here. I've uh, come in 25, so it, it will match on the other side. I've got the front trim marked out, which falls a little bit shorter, um, which is 25. Cut through the back, and then once I've removed those, then I'll prop up the bottom part of this to cut the bottom. Because if I try and cut it, it's going to... It's going to fold in the middle because I've got casters up there, but no support under the middle. So we'll get these, uh, get this middle shelf out of the way first, and then get these two out of the out of the way at the top. Okay, I've got it to a, a point now where it's it's sort of standing. <laughs> it's uh, it's a little loose in spots. It does need to be. Um, glued together but I, I wanted to assemble everything first cut all the pieces because obviously everything had to be cut down I wanted to make sure it all went together first before I, I glued it so um, I have got a little bit of damage um, simply because that that top was glued down to the front of it and I had to pry it up and I was so so gentle but I lost a little bit out of the front corner here which most people would have said, well, you know, just abandon it. You, you stuffed it. But um, I've still got the piece. And I'm going to glue this back in and clamp, clamp it. And, uh, you know, um, the top part of it, as you can see, will be will be covered by the, the top. And, um, you know, I might sand this down and restain it. So I can actually hide that um, that piece. I'll sand it back and get it looking really good and um, yeah there was also a bit missing out of here too um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of builder's bog and fill that in with builder's bog just to keep it um, you know keep it nice and sturdy I've uh, used some screws this time rather than nails these just were nailed in with brads this time I've um, countersunk some screws into there obviously to help this side because this side's extremely bad but it's, it seems to be holding it all together um, it does move a bit freer than that it's just that there's a lot of nails and things and bits of timber on the floor that the casters are getting caught on so um, what I'm going to do also is this is the side piece that I took off and over the years you know, over 20, 30 years, you know, I've ended up chipping a piece off there and chipped the piece off the front. But I do have this long piece here, which come off the front. So what I'm going to do is obviously cut down the piece I need for the front. And then from the remainder, I'm going to make a new side piece. And um, that should look really good. I've set the um, the door just just on it here, so it looks okay. I always knew that I was going to have to patch and restain this side here, but the most important thing was keeping it for this uh, beveled edge, so that the beveled edge matches this side so um this won't be a, ma a major drama once i sand it down and um fill it and and uh and restain it considering what i had <laughs> to what i've now got it hasn't been a waste well, i'm actually going to get some use out of that it's perfect for my records so yeah very happy very happy records and cassettes and it's on casters you know so it, it's movable hi everyone it's about two weeks 
further on since I dismantled that um, old TV entertainment unit cabinet and um, I have something assembled um, probably been like that for two weeks I just never filmed the last part of it and there's still a couple of small things that need to be done uh, just to finish it off but I needed to get it out of the kitchen as I was saying and um, but I've already loaded it up with records and cassettes and everything else that I uh, I intended to put in it so that's it there the door's sitting a little bit um, a little bit off center at the moment I need to sort of um, adjust the hinge down here and sort of bring the bottom across looks like there's a you know the gap extends here um, I've got to do the staining I've got to do all this staining here um, where the hinges were I've just put something over it for the time being um, just to sort of draw the eye away from it but it's pretty much uh, pretty much serving the purpose I wanted it to serve so you know I've got some records in there cassettes and then down the bottom here I've got another thing of cassettes there and a couple of DVDs I don't really want to put in my collection and manuals for my uh, hi-fi components and bits and pieces but the uh, cabinet didn't come up too bad I will get a I will get around to um, to finishing everything off so that's still loose there I haven't haven't quite um, finished a few things off so you know that has to be glued in but um, it's come up all right I'm quite happy with it I ended up cutting that front trim ended up cutting trim for the side um, I just need to drive the nails home with a punch to just to just get that trim a little bit closer to the, the side wall of the cabinet so that there's a few things that need to be done but pretty much, um, you know, it's serving a purpose at the moment. And it's, um, yeah, I can finish this off any time. So it was great. I got rid of all the, all the scrap. And this, this is what I'm left with. So, yeah, very happy. Very happy. Uh, I got a couple of people, or a couple of... Uh, Feathered friends here that approve. That's uh, that chevron, and this is bird. This is my old boy, fifteen years old. This one, still going strong. He's a good boy. This one, and I've got one other one in this cage that's naughty. So she's been isolated for now. Until she learns to be a good girl. So she doesn't get to come out and play. But they seem to uh they seem to like it enough not to land on it and poop on it. So <laughs> that's a good sign. <laughs> so yeah, um Yeah, that's it. Cheers.